Let's see what Cuphead's all about. No voiceover. Okay. Let's do some reading, y'all. Hang on. casinos I've been at, they always say that, the managers. Can you still hear me okay versus the music, just FYI? Just want to make sure I don't need to turn the volume up or down. is like Dark Souls. your hands if this has ever happened to you in Vegas. Dark Cups. The Dark Souls of Cup Games, indeed. <laughs> but we haven't told him anything yet. What the devil tells you, which is a good thing to do. <laughs> I've seen some shit, Cuphead. And hail Satan. Let's learn how to play Cuphead before we play Cuphead. Got it. Got it. Oh, the controversial section. Uh oh. Oh no, can I figure it out? Oh no. Seems pretty straightforward. <laughs> of course, there's parrying. Okay. Timed hits. Nice. Okay. Pink objects. Okay, I follow. I follow. Uh oh, another difficult section. Oh, okay. I don't have friends. Okay. That's right, timed hits. I've played Mario RPG. I'm all about those timed hits. All right, let's vamoose. Thank you. 
So are we fans of Cuphead here in the chat? I, as usual, am behind the curve. It's like Dark Souls, you have to exhaust all the dialogue. What do we got here? Mm -hmm. Let's shop first. Cuphead is an open world game, it would seem. Call this game the cat's pajamas. Alrighty. Uh, let's see what this is. Run and gun? Don't mind if I do. Looks pretty useful. Seems like the platforminess that I like in games. A pink object! I don't need to parry off that thing. Well, I got an experiment there. Oh my gosh, so perfect. In case y'all had any doubt that this was a skill stream, hashtag skill stream. Skill stream. That's the hashtag even with the verbal flub in it. I'm guessing there is a uh, r uh, rank is partially based off your time. Uh-oh. Oof. Thank goodness I paid attention to the tutorial. If I watched enough old cartoons to prepare for this game. Is there any reason to not always hold down the fire button? I hope there's a checkpoint eventually. Aha! Probably took a time penalty on that. Oh, you get bonus points for pairing shit. Okay. I mean, maximum skill level, a given. I'll take a B. That's a solid above average. And shouldn't we be satisfied if we get above average in life? I mean, I am. Can't jump. That's right, B for B is. Oh my. Uh, probably makes sense to stick with the base gun. A pink object. <laughs> I 
mean, the artwork, it's, it's pretty fab, I must say. So is this a representation of the people who complained about this game being too hard and that it needed to have an easy mode? Seems pretty regular, as the game indicated. I need to dish out my, uh... Yeah. I got an achievement! Perfect run! Does that mean S? Even though I didn't parry anything? B minus, come on. Just because I didn't parry. Perfect run, my butt. So if you want to S rank that, you have to go out of your way to parry those pink snakes. Oh, sweet. Let's see. So I can go up there. Can't go up there. How many hours are we talking when it comes to Cuphead? Like, five, six to beat off everything, I'm assuming? Stop reminding me that I'm not playing two-player. Hmm, do I want to go in this mausoleum, or... I think there might be something down here. Maybe I want to do first. Like, talk to this uh, coin man. seen Beef do this boss, like an S-rank attempt or something. This is my first playthrough, I'm not feeling like I need to be too fancy with going out of my way to parry shit. Rather, just kind of learn the game first. Not that I'll try, I'll not try it at all. Badly. Guessing you have to kill them. Oh, oh shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Revenge of the Battle Tits. That's right. Ah. Thought about parrying, but change one. Yes, so this guy's gonna be a little tricky. Focus my energy on this guy first. Thought the guy on the right was going to do something else. Mm. Gotta get a sense of my spacing better. If you horn steam and smell the game, that's right.
seen. Oop. Eh, maybe not. Ah. Ew. Okay, where's you found her? Hmm. I dig this, this is good stuff. This is very much my shit, learning by trial and error, fucking up over and over again against bosses. But eventually, I always get it. This is where I'm fucked up the most, so let's play this kind of conservative here. Feeling that. Feel like I'm at the end. I'm surprised the people in the background aren't freaking out more. Nice. There we go, that's better. See guys, I'm learning, I'm learning. So do the flipping the slot machines count as parries? No. This game really makes you work for the S-Ranks, don't it? But again, B, it's solidly above average. And you know what that means? I'm better than most people playing this when you're above average. And I take a lot of pride in that. Sweet of soul. So... Only one place to go now, right? Parries that are required progress don't count, yeah? B for better do better? No, I think it's B for BAM you're good! So the lady said, you can't shoot ghosts because they ain't real. <laughs> and that's why I'm uh, dying. Okay. This match will get red hot. And the parry challenge. Uh 
Ah. Went after the wrong one. This match will get red hot. Here goes. What's up, Joe Saturday? How are you? Starting from the table seems to give me more access to all of them. It's a triple combo. <laughs> you gotta earn this victory. I see what you're doing. I think your puns are a little off base. <laughs> What's that guy? Victory! There we go. I think I got my three parries for that challenge. How least to meet you. Is that the Tex Avery saw a pretty girl in your horny thing? Super. Tell me more. That's right. Ooh. Charms, you say? Oh, uh, now where do we go? She's still saying the same thing. True, there wasn't a huge tongue dropping out of his mouth when he saw the lady. This might be effective here. That's the Tex Avery thing. <laughs> sort of. Oh, okay. I didn't know that's how it worked. Fair enough. A great plan for Do you think I was on target with using the sh shotgun, for lack of a better word? Awooga. Ah. I need to track him a little bit better than I am. Or I could just try doing this longer range. Be a little safer. I like this more. I made a mistake getting whatever the uh, thing was. The spread. Doc Magnificent, thank you for the sub. And for making me look away from the screen. No, just kidding. Thanks very much, I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. So the question is, what do you parry in this fight?
Whoops. I hated his question marks. Oh yeah, there is space to duck under that. Okay. Oh. confused about the mechanics of all this, of life and death in Cuphead. Okay. I was close, so close. This guy's a real slime ball, eh? I'm from the 20s, like this cartoon. Just run of the mill normal cash difficulty. I'm learning things, learning mechanics, making mistakes, but learning from said mistakes. I'm curious about what they do to make the fights harder as you up difficulty. more attempts than I would have liked, but eventually got there. What was Periable? What did I miss as far as pink shit? C+, plus, that is still above average. Oh, his question marks, that's right. Uh, that's right. Good call. So you just do a boink, boink, boink like I was doing against those ghosts, and then boom, S rank. Alright, let's study the blueprints. The aeroplane blueprints. Oh my, okay. A shmup. A threatening Zeppelin, eh? Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Oop. Not as good. Oop. Not as good as shmups as some people I know, so this may take a little bit. Seeing if the Haas were destructible, it appears that it's not the case. Uh, 
not taking advantage of my skill sets. Oh, my I mean, this boss is just plain hard. Welcome back to Couple. Double, uh. All right, all right. Damn, I keep not anticipating that like I should. Tuffy, I gotta say. I'm up for the challenge. Yeah. Keep not expecting it, but I should be expecting it. Figure out how shrinking really would help. Besides, probably moving faster, hitbox shrinkage, etc. Two more hits. Afford one more minor mistake. Did I do it, or is this a weird phase two introduction? Oh my, okay. <laughs> This is a toughie. I feel like I can't afford any mistakes at the beginning. So I can be uh, better about doing the final phase. I'm tempted to start over because I got hit in the very beginning, but stick with it, I think. Can I retry it? Yeah. A brawl is surely brewing. You're up. 
Yeah, I agree. The horn attack is very, very quick. So, yeah, I'll probably just try to stay away from it or shrink out of its way or whatever. Just, like, constantly move. Constant movement. That's what it said, you see? Okay, tornado is easy. shenanigans on that. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Almost first try. I never really had experience with this one. Of course, I'm going to go into the third form and probably ugh, lose. All right, let's go to the map real quick. Let's see if there's anything else I can do prior to this particular one. I was close on that one attempt, but no Seagar. Actually, if there's nothing else I can do on an immediate basis, feel free to let me know. Never got any coins, did I? No, oh, I do have some coins. Hmm. Would this be helpful in the fight? Actually, would, it, would this help me in the flight part at all? I'll just buy that for now. Let's see. Is there anywhere else I could try? It does not look like it. Really ramp up the difficulty for the shmup section. I like it. I like it a lot. with that constellation. All right, at least I figured out the bull. Ah, I have to shrink and try to move out of the way. Try conserving the super since a little invincible during it for one of the like here probably. Didn't quite do what I wanted. Damn. Ha! Yeah, 
There we go. Okay. Shrink against Tornado. Seems good. Alright, at least I got back to the moon. I've heard of shooting for the moon, but shooting the moon? Alright, where did those... How did the, those... Uh, Trying to determine if there was a pattern to how they fire at you. I just need to just be constantly moving before it starts firing. Well, it seems like it's not always the same where it starts. Alright, got two health now. Surely we can do this at two health. Oh. Destroy them? Die. Okay. Whew. Goodness. Hey, Talman, how's it going? Was what Tuffy? It's above average, which is a brand new record for everyone who's attempted this ever. We stole the soul of the moon, yes. The blimp's the hardest in Act 1. Okay, so I should feel extra good about myself is what you're saying. I just got an achievement for doing that. Literally cutting that. Experiment with other weapons. Hmm. Do I replace shot A with Kablooey? Let's take a look. And begin. Hmm. I don't know about this. Let's try running and gunning with this one. I did not parry. Okay, let's retry that. That's not working at all. Shit. Gotta work on my parry time. There we go. Yeah. 
sloppy, but it works. This ain't running and gunning, this is climbing and gunning, oh dear. For some reason, I was thinking that those were enemies that you could use as platforms. I was wrong. Yes, you cannot kill the Woody Woodpecker. Who wants to hear my Woody Woodpecker impression? No one? Literally no one? Okay. Here, hang on. Here, here is my Woody Woodpecker impression. <clears throat> Alright, that was the Woody Woodpecker impression. Hope you all enjoyed it. Worked very hard on perfecting it. That's fair. It's perfectly fair. <laughs> perfectly fair! <laughs> Actually, I don't really remember Woody Woodpecker's, like, dialogue. Just the, uh, laugh. That nightmare. Damn it, we cannot get that timing down. Perhaps holding down the fire button is not in my best interest here. Perhaps I don't need to gun. So much is wrong. Okay, I got my three parries. Must mean I'm near the end of the level. Tree trunks. Okay. Oh, I wasn't even that close to the end. Shame. Let me, uh, go back to the map and de-equip the, uh, whatever I was using. So that weapon does not seem, correct me if I'm wrong, Cuphead experts, but that did not seem all that good as the base piece shooter. Don't forget Matthew Perry shot. Let's do this correct this time. T 
Tyler Perry, that's another one, yeah. I think Steve Perry is my personal fave of the Perrys. And it took me a long journey to realize that. <laughs> Welcome back to Cuphead. Forget the coins. Let's just beat the level off. Oh, no. Okay. I was hoping something like that would happen. Oh, no! Did we run and gun? No. No, still some gunning to do. Can I make... Okay. Bravo! Woo! No, I'm too scared of my low health total to go back and get those coins. I've embarrassed myself an adequate amount for now. Luke Perry, that's another Perry. That's right. See, we're consistently above average in this game, and I think that speaks for my skills as a hashtag Twitch gamer. If in the future I have interest in S-ranking stuff, which I don't know I will, then maybe I'll go back and get all that stuff. But this is an exploratory stream. We gotta see what these levels are all about. Look at these piranha plant rip-off designs for, the, for those platforms. Okay, I just learned something about this boss. Is that pink or purple? That's oh. It's pink, but I saw it. So. Oh, wait, what? Killed me there. A brawl is surely brewing. Ah. Oh, dang. I had a hard time seeing those come out. Out of that dodge. Keep forgetting they come out of the ground. Okay. A brawl is surely brewing. And begin. All right, I'm, I'm feeling better about this now. Got this. Move. Good day. The real cuphead starts here. Well, I know when I'm at the end of Act One. People keep talking about Act One bosses, etc. I cannot seem to destroy those.
Oh, what? A multi phase boss fight? Are you kidding me? Oh. Okay. Should have expected that. Is the audio going weird for some of y'all? Or is it just arc? He's Kool-Aid manning a little bit to me, y'all. A vague, oh yeah. Okay. Now I know what to expect. Kind of. I think I've got it. Feel like I got it. In fact, it's a walk in the park achievement unlocked! Wow! Oh, and that's a kind of a freaky death animation. Mm, yes, again, above average. Perhaps the best anyone has ever done at this particular boss. Incredible. Incredible work on my part, I have to say. I don't need to re revisit the store. Hmm. Oh, the die house. I think I get it. Got your souls. Or the devil's souls. You just work for the devil. I'm the gamest in the land. I never play nice. I'm the devil's right hand man. Very swank music, I like it. That's actually me in real life, cut that right now. So is this the transition from Act 1 to Act 2, the Isles? Rule hell? 